Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here today. Uh, let me make sure I'm sharing my screen so that you can all see it. I see no one can. Okay, there you can see the screen. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. We're going to talk about Social Security claiming with Coach Dave Pimper. Always good to have Dave aboard with us. As you all know, Dave has spent many, many years of Social Security claiming expertise that he has passed on with our group for probably the last 10 or 11 years, uh, 12 years, I guess now. Yeah, but he's been in the business since 1981, plenty of experience, uh, worked in uh, radio, uh, 570 or so public seminars now. So uh, really a great uh, a, a great resource for us and our guys. So we're going to get started here now. If you have any questions, be sure and type them in and we'll get them asked and answered as quickly as we can. We'll have a couple polls that pop up. Uh, put yes or no. Uh, no's are okay. Uh, I always tell people don't be, don't think twice about a no. We just want to know what your level of interest is. So off we go. Let's talk about a few things we do here at IAMS to help you grow your business. Many of you uh, will a few of you, I would say, uh, that are on with us this morning are folks that have been with us for less than 180 days. So you can still tap into the new producer, pro, uh, new producer builders program. Uh, it includes some things that are just incentive based. There's some cash rewards and some travel if you want to do that. But most of them are built around helping you grow your business, whether it's seminars, radio, uh, lead purchase, a pre-appointment, pre appointment, uh, pre preset appointment type stuff. Uh, all that stuff is available at your new producer builders. You can see on the screen there what you can do, but the easiest thing to do is call your sales director at 800-255-5055 and say, hey, tell me about what I can do with the, with the new producer builders program. Uh, secondly, I want to make sure that you are all aware of the of a couple of programs that we have that are ongoing and designed to help you grow your business in the same way. One is marketing reimbursement. Anything that you do marketing wise, we put money in your account when you do business with us and we help you offset that expense. So basically it's a, it's a reimbursement to help you double the duty of your marketing dollars. RPM, huge, huge checks go out. I just uh, sent those, uh, we just processed those checks here um, yesterday and the day before. So those of you that are on with us that are waiting for your RPM checks, is, those are in the mail, uh, but it's a simple program. If you refer someone to IAMS, they do business with IAMS and we put money into your account. It's a bonus based on their business. It doesn't take anything away from them. They have everything that you get they get including if they want to refer somebody they can get a referral bonus on that every program is available to them we take that your bonus that we pay you out of our advertising dollars so if you have somebody that you think might benefit from our training our products our services our incentives uh, have them give us a call let us know you got to tell us that you're referring them uh, so give us a call and say hey uh, here's someone that I'm going to have call, give you a call or here's somebody I want you to call. Uh, and then we put them in under your RPM and off we go. Uh, we, we're doing a lot of annuity academies in uh, 2023, more than we've ever done before. Uh, so uh, there are going to be plenty of opportunities for you to join us. We have a couple that are just strictly life insurance focused, and then we have three uh, left, three left on the agenda uh, that are life and annuity focused. So those life and annuity academies are, of course, the bigger ones. In both cases, we're going to take care of your expenses associated with that. If you have interest in attending an academy with us this year, you need to let us know that. And the way that you let know, let us know that is by uh, filling out a registration form. And I'm gonna put a poll up really quick. And what this poll is, is if you have interest, you mark yes. And then we'll send you out that registration form. And basically what happens then is you let us know, hey, I'm interested in life and annuity or just life academies and let us know a little bit about yourself. And then when, as those come up, then we give you a call and say, hey, here's the date, here's the travel arrangement, uh, you know, here's the, uh, here's when you're going to be out of your office, is this something that you want to do? And so you're going to have, uh, as I mentioned, we have five more of those choices here in 2023, uh, one in June, one in August, one in between, uh, that's the Life Only Academy, and one in October, uh, and then one in between there, also that's just a life academy. So if you have interest in joining us and increasing, these are these academies are all about, are not all about, 80% about sales and marketing. We talk a little bit about product. We'll talk a little bit about uh, some compliance, you know, regulatory stuff that we think you need to be aware of of what's happening in the in the industry. You'll hear from some top producers. You'll hear from some. I am personnel. You'll hear from some of your fellows. We do always do a producer panel. And then also you'll hear from a couple of company folks that will want to talk a little bit about their products. This is not 
product 101. If you're just trying to figure out annuities, this isn't going to be the academy for you um, or the, the training and vet for you. We have plenty of other resources for that. But if now you're kind of graduating that 201 level where you want to grow your business and you want to get to, you know, how, what are some solutions and some ideas that we can put in front of you to help you grow your business and how do we partner with you on that? That's what the academy is about. So I'm going to take that poll down in a moment. We have one person that hasn't voted. <laughs> you guys are quick voters. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, if you're unable to vote uh, or if you don't vote at all, we'll have Lisa will give you a call and she'll ask you if you have interest and she'll get you that registration form out. So let's close that out. And get moving on here. Uh, E-apps. Everyone now uses E-apps. Most of you on the, on board with us today, I'm guessing, are, have converted to E-apps in general. That's a good thing. The, the, uh, it'll be probably within a couple of years that carriers will require the application form. And there's some good reasons for that that help them, but there's also some very good reasons for that that help you. And if you if you do any apps, you know that going through the suitability and you know having it do the math for you is handy, having it let you know uh, where you might be out of bounds, having it let you know where you may have missed a blank that needs to be filled in. It really just brings the business to the carrier in such a much more likelihood of 100% good order. And that's that's what they want, obviously. Uh, the advantages to you is that it does uh, help you as well. And, you know, you know that once an application gets out of the queue, if there's something that happens that makes it not in good order, it it adds days to the processing, which is very frustrating. Uh, and if it is in good order, it can go through immediately. I just talked to one of our guys, and he did a business piece of business with one of our carriers, a Speeda. Of course, you have to do the business with the Speeda. Has to be done via e-app. Uh, he uh, submitted the app, and 37 minutes later, he was delivered a the e-policy, and his commission was in his account. 37 minutes. <laughs> so that's the advantage of, uh, and that's the advantage that the carrier is looking for. I know many of you are looking for for e-apps. The good news is that we have a single sign-on. You can do most e-apps with all of our carriers from our website, so you don't have to go to website to website. If you're doing two apps on the same client with two different carriers, you don't you you know you can do a cut and paste across, and you you don't have to complete completely refill out uh, new applications to do that, but you can only do that on our platform because we have the single sign-on. So multiple carriers are there. You just do the cut and paste across the carriers and it does a lot of that work for you, um, which is nice. Uh, so there's a lot of good reasons to do eApps. If you're not, you need some help with that, again, call your sales director. We'll get you registered on the eApp platform. It literally takes three minutes and the number is 800-255-5055. Let us help you with that. Got a great advertising team here at IMS. Um, they do a fantastic job for our producers. I had a conversation with one of our guys on the wealth management side last night, and that you know, uh, he, he was telling me that they're doing his website for him. He's really pleased with it, and you know, kind of the I, I give them some basic information, and they turn it into something beautiful and you know, fully built out and pretty, uh, and that's kind of. That's the job. That's their job. That's what they do. They do a great job of it. A lot of that stuff they do for our guys, you know, just, you know, getting a flyer branded and, and all that. That's pretty easy. We can do a lot of this stuff pro bono uh, for you. We do everything we can at you know, using marketing reimbursement and things like that. We don't want to bring anything out of your pocket, though I think you'll agree that it's worth a little bit of spend when you need to. Uh, to take advantage of it. But if we can help you with your advertising budget and help you kind of get that stuff rolling, uh, by all means, uh, give the team a call. Everybody that I talk to that has had experience with the with the group, the team over there has come away very pleased. So I know that you'll be among those folks as well. We just had a meeting this morning. We talked about Retirement Analyzer. That's a software program that we've made available for the last 16 or 17 years to our producers at our cost. We make the base level available. So that's about an $80 a month savings to you. So if you're doing business with us, we pay that for you. Uh, if you're just getting rolling with us and you want to have a look at it, we can make that happen too. We'll give you like a 20 or 30 day free look at it. The only thing that I ask, and I say this always, if we make it available to you and you use it and then decide, hey, this isn't something for me, let us know that so that we're not paying for nothing for you. Uh, but if you're doing business with us and you want to see that, you can see before you on the screen some of the things, uh, that what it looks like from a graphic standpoint, really good. Uh, some of the questions you can ask for your clients. That program is the most robust retirement preparedness software that I've seen. Uh, and by robust, I mean, you can work directly with your clients. You can send 
you know, you can give your clients access so that they can put information in for you. Uh, there's a, a database that goes with it. There's uh, email uh, program that goes with it. You can email out folks. You can even email out to a bunch of folks and say, hey, this is, a, they, they call it nine to no, but you can email out and you, they put in nine pieces of information and then you can, it'll show them where they sit on their, their path to retirement. And if they want some help with it, then they can just email you and you can go in and put in more information, help them, you know, guide them through it. It really is prospecting uh, a great way to build relationships with clients. If you're not using a product like this, I think this is the one you should use. It's as good as any out there. So if you have interest, give the team a call, give your sales director a call and say, hey, let me have a look at that and we'll, we'll make it available to you. We're going to go down to Kiowa Island, South Carolina. Uh, it's a, a beautiful spot. And you can see that, you know, obviously they have golf. I think there's a PGA golf course down there. But there's so many things to do for you and your guests down there. We'd love to have you join us. It will be our biggest uh, qualifying event ever. Uh, we're going to have a great group down there. Uh, the, the location, the sanctuary hotel, I had the good fortune to be there. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, we'll take our top 20 uh, to uh, Charleston Place in Charleston, another beautiful hotel. If you've never been to Charleston, it's a it's lovely, lovely little city with some great, uh, great things to see and a lot of great things to do. So we'd love to have you all join us for the sanctuary in our top 20. We'll go to a little extra. Uh, if you're a golfer, you'll love it. But if you're not, beach, pools, uh, great things to see around there. I know you're going to enjoy your time with us. So plan on joining us. Uh, we're going to be down there uh, the, four, the 18th of or the 14th of April uh, through the 20th for those that have the extension, uh, 14th through the 18th for those that are joining us for the base trip. We'd love to have you join us. Plenty of time to qualify through the end of 2023 to qualify. I know many of you are having some of your best years ever uh, in the annuity and life business right now. I think that makes sense given the climate and we'd love to have you uh, put all that business with IMS and have the opportunity to join us at the sanctuary down at Kiowa Island. So we're going to talk about Social Security maximization with the coach, Dave Pimper. Um, Dave, as I mentioned, uh, got the business in 1981. He is securities. He's 665, 24, 7 on the security side. But he'd be the first one to tell you that this, this is not, you don't need to have a securities license to help somebody on their Social Security. He's going to take some time right now and walk you through uh, the top four or five things that you can work with your clients that a lot of the, the most some of the more basic social security questions that come up and he's going to take some time and walk you through those and we'll have some opportunity for you to gain even more knowledge and expertise but most importantly we'll have ways to you show you that you can use that newfound expertise and knowledge to get in front of more clients and help your current clients so without any further delay let me turn it over to the coach mr dave pimper thank you very much steve i appreciate it thank you everybody for being on the line with us today this webinar is going to take 25 minutes, so we'll be done at 25 to the hour. I like to start on time, end on time. My name is Dave Pepper. I've been in the business, well, it sounds like a long time. I started in 1981, so July 9th of this year, 42 years. Um, even though I'm, I'm, I do my share of security business, the fixed index new product is, is very much of a mainstay. There isn't, there isn't one, there isn't one item out of, out of when I bring on my uh, AUM each year that I put more money in than the fixed fixed index in some fixed right now that everything is extremely well priced and and certainly um, and certainly is timely so I have here why you the advisor you the insurance agent you the salesperson should understand social security claiming you know only about one in one in every 25 advisor agent broker really understands Social Security. And the interesting thing is 94% of all Americans at some point in their life take a Social Security benefit. 94%. You can't say that about stocks, about bonds, who has a will, annuities. No, no possible way. So let's talk about Social Security and, and why I think it's so important. This comes from CNBC. Most retirees get little advisor help on Social Security. And then it says the major of older Americans get no professional advice about a key part of retirement planning, Social Security, even if they work with a financial advisor, a recent study concluded. It's true. Can't tell you how many times somebody came into me just for Social Security and I end up with their entire account or a portion of their account. Here's five questions. Let's take a quiz. 
So I want you to take, I got a bunch, I got a bunch of people on today. That's great. I, I love, so on Friday, some people are still working. I love that. Here it goes. So the Social Security test, only one in 300 seniors could get all the answers right. So let's go on in. Let's take this. So on Social Security claiming, to maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? To maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? What's that age? To maximize it. So if you said, here we go, put it right down. If you said full retirement age, you're wrong. It's age 70. For a single person, it's age 70. What's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? My wife always says, no one gets out of here alive. That's right. You're going to die, physically die, sometime. What's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? What is the earliest age? 60. Not 62, but 60. Does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for a spousal benefit? So, so does the spouse have to take for you to take off of them a spousal benefit? Um, what do you think? Answer? Yeah, they do. Four, can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Good question. Can they? Yay or nay? Yeah, they can. But four stipulations have to be met. Okay? So if you if you name two of the four, I'm going to give this answer correct for you. Two of the four. What are they? Write down two of the four. What has to light up? Stars and everything that has to light up. <clears throat> all right. Well, first of all, the marriage needed to last 10 years or longer consecutively. Secondly, unmarried. The spouse claiming for the benefit, unmarried. Ex-spouse is at least 62. Divorce was two years ago or longer. Ex can be married, no big deal. Yeah, those four things have to line up to use it. If you got two of those right, I'm going to give it to you. And here's the last one. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you are divorced? Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you are divorced? That's a very good question again. Are you? Yes or no? Yep. But those four stipulations have to be met. <laughs> and I'm going to give it to you. So how did you do? How did you do? If you got one, two, or three right, three actually is pretty darn good, but just one or two right, yeah, you need some help. I coach Social Security. And I coach uh, specifically through IAMS. And I've done this for a long, long time. And I would like to coach you. I'd like to coach you up on Social Security, give you a good in insight of how you can use that to really educate people within your practice. How important is Social Security claiming? 60% of retirees count on the Social Security benefit to be the major source of income, more than pensions, 401ks, savings. Get a load of this. This is by Janet Heron a couple, three years ago. It was in USA Today. Headline, doing this one thing with your Social Security could mean losing 100 grand in retirement. 100 grand in retirement. How much is claiming Social Security at the wrong time cost you? Retirees will lose an average of 111000 in income per household. 111000 It's real cash. Because they took Social Security benefits at the wrong time, only 4% of retirees took it at the financially optimal age. It's wild. Social Security started in 1935. The average age of longevity then was only 62. Get a load of those odds. You take it 65, but you're dead at 62. You're dead three years before you could take it. Not the way it is now. If fentanyl and COVID do doesn't get you, your life expectancy is nearly 80. Nearly 80 for a newborn. There's three ages or dates that are important. 62, full retirement age, and 70. It used to always be at 65. That's why some people still think that, that you got to take Social Security at 65. That's Medicare, not Social Security. 
So they reduced it in 61, uh, President Kennedy, that you could take earlier at a discount. And then later, you could wait longer to make it grow. Automatic cost of living allowances happened in 75. First taxation in 83. Second taxation in 93, up to 85%. There's big changes every year, but the Bipartisan Budget Act, that was a big change. File and suspend got phased out in six months. Restricted application got phased out over eight years, which will be done on December 31st of this year. Remember those three ages or dates I said are important? First age you can take, 62. Last age, you don't have to take, but you should or you just lose your benefit, age 70. And when you get the full benefit, somewhere between 66 and 67. Does it have a huge value? Does Social Security have a huge value? You know, it does if you claim at your right time. Not the right time, not a right time, but your right time. The trust fund, when you hear about going broke, they're talking about the trust fund. What funds Social Security? Payroll taxes. The 6.2% you pay, the 6.2% your employer pays. That 12.4%, 12.4% is huge. When I hear that Social Security is an entitlement program, that's what you hear. That's what you read. And factually, that's what it is. But I consider an entitlement program that is funded by the government. You know how much is funded by the government here? None of the benefit, just, just the support. Think about it. Almost, well, $1.1 trillion of revenue, $6.7 billion, which is nothing compared to a trillion, and the expenses of Social Security Administration. Call them. It'll take 45 minutes to answer the phone. And I'm not trying not to come down. I know they do as good as they can, but you can call three different people and get three different answers. Yeah. It's funded by payroll taxes. Did run a decrease, a deficit last year. Did one in the, it did the year before, too, or they could this current year. So, or last year, last year and the year before. So, what happens is, yeah, it's going to run out. The trust fund will run out of money, but there'll still be that 6.2 of your money and 6.2 of your employer money, or, or, or you get both sides of that if you're self employed, that will be funding Social Security. If you ask a young person will be there, they say, absolutely not. When I was young, my dad told me it won't be there. I believed it. He didn't think so. But here it is. 45%. Well, get a load of this. 40, well, over what, 70 million people take a Social Security benefit. One out of five. It's actually 20, 21% take a Social Security benefit. So it is, this is going to go bankrupt in about 11 years. So they got to do something to it. They're either going to raise taxes or raise the age. Raise taxes or raise the age or some combo of both. I'd rather have them raise the age. People are living longer now. Is it a pay as you go system? Yes, we pay into it, payroll taxes. Does the government, with those special issue treasury bonds, they borrow against those or sell those out and replace it with IOUs? They do. It doesn't concern me. IOUs are what covers our currency. Same thing. Not a Ponzi scheme. A lot of people want to say that it is. Forty quarters of coverage. Actually, they're called work credits now. You don't have to earn it in the quarter. That would weigh in 1978. So what happens is you need $1,640. $1,640. So what happens is if you make $1,640, you're going to court. You're going to get a work credit. You earn four of those and you get 65.60. That's the minimum benefit. If you just get the minimum benefit in 40 hours. Your pay was you just barely got in. Yeah, you're gonna have a benefit of maybe 450 bucks, maybe 500 minimum benefit. But this year, I mean, the benefit can be as high as is uh, getting I mean, 37, 3800. So they look at those 40 quarters. If you don't have 40 quarters, you don't get a benefit. So the earnings over your working career, if you, if you start early, it's discounted. You take it full retirement age, you get your full benefit, 100% of your benefit. You wait longer, you get you get a delayed retirement credit, a guaranteed 8% a year, two-thirds of a percent a month increase for every month longer after school retirement that you hold. If you have any questions, certainly type them on in. I'm going through this pretty quickly also. I appreciate your time. When we're coaching, I go much slower. We do a lot of role playing. You get, I mean, from us, for just coaching, I mean, you're going to get 15 to 20 attachments. 
So there's a there's a lot a lot that goes into coaching you. You take the 35 highest inflation adjusted years. So just because you made 25,000 back in the 80s, that might be one of your higher inflation adjusted years. And then cost of living last year five nine, this year 8.7 percent, highest in nearly 40 years. So if you're born from 43 to 54, your full retirement age is 66. If you're born in 55, 66 years in two months. 56, four months, 57, six months, 58, eight months, 59, 10 months. 1960 year later, yeah. What happens is your full retirement age is 67. Applying for benefits before full retirement age, you're going to get discounted. You take as early as 62, but you know what? Depending on your FRA, full retirement age, yeah, somewhere between 30 and 35%. Not until you reach full retirement age do you get your full benefit. And if you wait longer than that, which I am, I've done it for two years in a row now, mine increases a guaranteed 8% a year. You know what? 8% when the market's down 20 last year is pretty darn good. I was guaranteed that by the government. And then they threw another last year 5.9% cost of living on it. So you take 8%, you add 5.9%, you got 13.9%. You take, I have a full retirement benefit of $3,000. Of three thousand dollars. Well, my benefit grew over four hundred dollars last year, just because I waited one year. This year I waited again. This year it grew sixteen point nine percent or sixteen point seven because it's eighteen, yeah, eight point seven plus eight percent. So it's sixteen point seven. My my benefit grew over five hundred this year. The last two years, my benefit grew nine hundred dollars just because I waited two years. That's a not even a mini pension. That's a pension. So let's talk about spousal benefits. Hey, again, if you have a question, type it in. I, I want to answer questions today. Okay? If you have a question, uh, please, please type it in, and I will answer that for you. First of all, do you have to ask for the spousal benefit, or is it done automatically? Yes. Almost everybody guesses this wrong. It's done automatically. <laughs> so in this example, days PIA stands for primary insurance amount. That's the amount you get at full retirement FRA. So you'll hear me say PIA at FRA, primary insurance amount at full retirement age. In this illustration, Dave's is 2,400. Amy's is 1,000. Dave takes his. Amy takes hers. Higher one always gets theirs. The lower one is either going to get all of theirs or half of the spouse. As long as the spouse has taken theirs, all of hers or half of the spouse. So what's she going to take? Half of the spouse. She's going to get 1200 instead of a 1000 So really, in the eyes of Social Security, she gets 1000 of her own benefit, $200 as a top up. That's how the spousal benefit is figured. Social Security benefit, days to day. And Amy, Amy's at 2000 at full retirement age. Amy is 1200 Guy dies 75% of the time. As he does in this illustration, Dave kicks the bucket. Amy can't keep both benefits. She can take one or the other. If she keeps hers, she leaves 800 on the table. If she takes his, she jumps up 800 She still is shy, $1,200, because she can't get hers also. But there should be less expense when there's one person within the house. What's really cool about a death benefit or survivor benefit is that you can actually take either or. But let's say you take the widow's benefit and you let yours grow and grow and grow. And it grows bigger than the widow's benefit. Bigger than the widow's benefit. And you can turn that on up to the age of 70 at a much bigger amount. Yeah, you can file, let that grow, and then take the other benefit. Boom. Pretty cool. That's with a survivor benefit. Divorce spouse, remember those remember those four things that are important? Marriage had the last 10 years or longer. Remember that? You're currently unmarried, exit at least 62, more than two years ago. You can treat that spouse as if you're still married to them. Why is that important? Many more options. Doesn't always help you, but many more options. And spouses can take upon themselves. It doesn't affect them. They don't even need to know about it in any way. Coordinating spousal benefits. This is almost done. You'd have to be born before January 2nd at 54 and not 70 yet. So you got to be 69 years and five months, not 70 yet. So there's only six months, seven months left. That's it. Six months left on this. But 
I'll just tell you how it works. Is if, if, if a person is full retirement age, their spouse took the benefits, they maybe took a thousand. Dave has twenty four hundred dollars and he's he's growing at eight percent a year. If if he was born before January second of fifty four and under the age of seventy, if he's in that very finite area, yeah, he can go out there and reach out and take a spousal benefit, half a baby's. A spousal benefit is always half of what your spouse is was or is. Versus a thousand half of that is five hundred. You do it for six months at three thousand bucks. They'll cut you a check for three grand. This was one of the more amazing pieces of information that I could remember when I, I started learning about Social Security 10, 11 years ago. They can estimate your individual benefit. They can tell you the largest amount you're entitled to now. They cannot project future benefits through scenario planning. They can't help with innovative strategies. They can't give advice. They can't. I asked my lawyer, CPA, and, 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 and my lawyer and trust officer, they, they couldn't give advice. Well, I want to tell you what, that is fairly wild. People want advice when they go there. They can only give their highest benefit at a certain age. This comes right from the program's manual. And this is fairly wild. Oop, I got to go back on this, my fault. There we go. What can they do? He says right here at Everd, provide enough information so that claimants can make informed choices, but don't give advice. We give advice. That's why we're so important to the to the to the prospect or client. I always say consider your income stream. So Social Security is not a standalone income stream. It is the most flexible. Claim at your right time can be paramount. No, don't forget about the survivor's benefit. So important. My mom's still living off my dad's survivor benefit. I call it the five pillars of income. I work through this to kind of fact find you know, for my client to find assets I might be able to work with, wages, pensions, income producing assets, like 401ks, 403Bs, their savings plans, RMDs. They're actually at age 73 now, which is the Secure Act 2 That was implemented 1-1 one, one of January 23, so I have updated that yet. So Security is it's, it's, I'll tell you what, Social Security is, I always say it's the worst water cooler talk there is, that corporate water cooler talk. Hey, Dave, I took Social Security at 72 and you should too. Hey, Dave, I took it at 70. Uh, I mean, I took it at 70 and you should too. I took it at 62 and you should too. Now, now it's depending upon you. You know, there's a lot to consider. Oh, man, there's a bunch of benefits. But when you're coaching, there's, there's three ways you can coach. You can coach just one-on-one -on -one coaching. One-on-one, -on -one, I don't want any kind of marketing. 800 bucks, four sessions. You can call me at any time. I can, I can keep you updated. You know, if you got questions on Social Security, you got a client, I can, I can help coach you. Um, seminars, seminars are just, they're hot right now. A lot of people. I mean, I had 43 appointments combined for my last three seminars. It's pretty darn good. I'm averaging nearly 15 appointments per seminar. We should, if we get 10 or more, we'll get a radio. I coach you up on radio and all that coaching for was coaching for radio or coaching for seminars. There's no cost for that. I am pays for that. They pay me to coach. So that's pretty cool. Well, that's why so many people really sign up three ways. Remember I told you, like we just talked about, there's no saying it says procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. Uh Oh, Tomorrow never comes. Don't don't wait. No one is becomes successful because they're procrastinating. Take action. People who take action are the are the most successful people. If you like information on social security coaching, just talk to me. Hey, yeah, then, then put yes here. And Lisa Marie will give you a call. She's very good at what she does. She's with IMS. She'll call you today, and she has my calendar. And we'll talk for 15, 20 minutes. Social security can play a vital role. Most advisors don't know it. You can be one of the few in your area that really understands social security claiming to give that kind of support and help and uncover for assets that you can work with, that you can that you can uh, do some business with. So Steve, I'll turn this back over to you, see if there's any questions, and then we'll we'll call it a Friday. Thanks, Dave. Forgot to demute myself there. So uh, yeah. I know that, yeah, there's a lot of interest uh, in Social Security claiming right now uh, at 
at our advisor level, I see we get a lot of people who want to have another conversation with you, but you and I both know too that there is a tremendous amount of interest right now in Social Security claiming and Social Security in general at the consumer level. You know, we, there was a period of time during the pandemic, obviously, where we didn't do any uh, seminar stuff and had no, tried to do some webinars, weren't nearly as successful. I mean, there's just no substitute for that face-to-face. -face. And you know, about January, February of this year, it just seems like the uh, something clicked and all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. you know, with our, our attendance has been over the top, not attendance that we really feel comfortable talking about uh, because the numbers are so high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, you know, I think I think what's interesting too, it was, you know, I did. There were a few advisors. I mean, Curtis, you know, had some up up north had some success with virtual social sure. security seminars. I tried. I mean, I, I mean, I got out of six seven seminars, I got a piece of business. I mean, I didn't cover the cost, but I think it's just like a pent up demand. Don't you think that's why we're getting so many folks at the workshops right now? I do. I think that people are. You know, I mean, they've wanted the information. They haven't really felt comfortable getting together in groups. And you and I both know, too, there's been so much in the news about Social Security that people, right. are, I, just, I think yeah. people are like, hey, am I going to get Social Security at all? Or what does that mean? Or, you know, they get right. taxed or get taken away. So there's a lot of uh, need for information. And that just hasn't been a lot of ways for people to do that. So it's driving people to seminars. And if you have some expertise in Social Security claiming, I think it's really more valuable now than I mean, we've been doing seminars around Social Security until we had the little hiatus during the pandemic for probably 12 years. Never have we seen this level of interest. So it's a good yeah. time to have that expertise. And certainly Dave is a good resource uh, that we can tap into to help grow that knowledge and get you to the point where you feel comfortable having conversations with your clients. And we'll get, throw some software resources at you as well so that you can help people do the Social Security planning. If you say, hey, I want to do some seminars. That's really a great way to meet a whole bunch of new people right now. And no, 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 exactly. You're exactly right. Now I'll tell you what happens is, and Steve, you know this. I mean, I do it a little bit different. It's production important to me. Of course it is, but it's an end product. It's an end product of of getting in front of someone. So if someone says, What's more important? Is it the prospecting marketing or is it the sales process? Well, you can be great at the sales process and be horrible at getting in front of people or don't get in front of anybody. You'll make nothing. Yep. If you're horrible at the sales process and you get in front of a ton of people, it's just like Zig Ziglar says, a stop clock is has the right time twice a day. You're going to get something out of it. Mm -hmm. But if you're pretty good at both of them, I'm telling you right now, you know, that's where the superstars are. And we're yep. trying to make you a superstar of getting in front of people. This is designed, social security seminars are designed to go in and to fill up your calendar with appointments. And that that's a, that's a fun, it, 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 it wears you out, but the end result is very, very good. Very good, yeah. Well, and obviously we've got a lot of folks on today, and um, it, it surprisingly, uh, I think you did a fantastic job with the presentation because we have zero social security questions, but we do have questions about seminars. And okay. so right now when we do a seminar, the question that we have is regarding conversion, because I, and you and I have seen this in the past where people have had some experience with doing social security seminars and have a, had a difficult time conversion. What's your, what do you expect or hope for, for conversion? What have, what have your results been? You know, when I go in and speak with 10 people on social security, there's probably going to be six that just don't have any interest. They don't have any money. They just don't want to, they don't want to, they have an advisor already, you know, I mean, whatever. Yeah. And a lot of people don't, it's like panning for gold. You know, th just think about this. So think about it. You, you want to go get into baseball, but you know what? You want to get a hit every time. I'm not, I mean, I, I, mean, I don't want to walk. I don't want to get hit by the ball. I don't want to go in and, and strike out. I want to hit every time. Well, you know what? Those expectations are way, yeah. way, way stupidly too high. That's right. So here, I mean, you're, you're going to have many you're more, more, more no's and yes, it's just like it's like you have more outs than, than, than you know, than hits. You know, someone who hits a third of the of the baseballs in in, in, in a career, they, they they are right on the verge of going to the Hall of Fame, aren't they? That's right. Same way with the salesperson. Mm -hmm. But I would say it's probably not a third. It's probably 40% of the people will go on. So I'll get four of those will go on to a second appointment. 
and then I'm going to close one or two of those. And my average dollar on those that I'm doing is about 500, 400 to 500,000. So let's just say I'm pretty good, Steve. Let's say you're half as good as Bipper. Uh, let's say you do a couple hundred thousand. What's the average fixed index? What's it pay? Yeah, six, six and a half, seven. Six, yeah, six, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's, let's take the little figure. 200,000, 6%, 12,000. Cost you just under 3,000 to do the, the seminar. That's a good, uh, if I went to Vegas, I'd do that all day long. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you know what? I, you, you know, I'm a, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a social security seminar guy. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. And I get in front of a lot of people. And do I take a lot of no's? You bet I do. Do I still help those people for the full hour? I do. I do. I mean, I, I'm there to help. And do I have, I gotten some referrals. I had one last week that a guy wouldn't pay me a hundred dollars for it. Cause I was just, well, of course I didn't take it. <laughs> now I'm going into Friday. Maybe I should, but I did. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, but what happens is this is something that most people don't. Want. Steve, I had a, I, had a, I didn't even tell you about this, but I had someone from IAMS. I must have been on a webinar and he called me. He's down from like El Paso or something. And he says, you know what? He said, I've heard, I've called and I, I've talked to a couple guys that claim that they coach Social Security and really understand. I talked to them both, kind of asked them some questions, found out, you know what? That they really didn't know what they said they did. He said, uh, call me. Let's find out if you know something that you can coach me on Social Security. Well, you know what? That's exciting because I, I guarantee you this guy wants to learn. You know why he wants to learn? Because he wants to be better at the sales presentation to close more business. Period. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. You bet. Yep. Yeah, really uh, good stuff as usual today. Uh, thank you all for for joining us. Um, this webinar is available. You can go to our website and listen to it again. We don't make the slides available, but you can re-listen to the webinar. And if you look back, you'll see we do one of these maybe once a week, and we record a number of them. So there's plenty, plenty to choose from. But the information throughout is the same. There might be a little uh, information that you are looking for that wasn't available here today. I wish you'd give us a call here at the office. It's 800-255-5055. Just ask for a sales director. You can ask for me. Uh, you can ask for anyone here in the office, and we'll be glad to help you. And when you do make that call, you're going to get somebody to pick the phone up, and it's going to be a live person we're going to get you taken care of. So we appreciate that you join uh, a webinar on a Friday. Not a lot of people uh, are taking time out of their business and out of their personal life on a Friday to, to learn a little bit more. So we really appreciate the fact that you joined us. Just let us know what we do to help you more. Uh, you will get a call from Lisa Marie. Uh, almost everyone wanted a call, and we'll make we'll make that happen. It probably be today, and try and get you set up for an appointment to learn more about Social Security and Social Security seminars or radio with Dave uh, at at some point here in the next few days. So thank you for joining us, Dave. Is there anything that you want to add as we close up? No, I tell you what, um, this is your time. Time is money when you're a salesperson. That's what an advisor. That's what an agent. We are. I mean, we're professional salespeople. We should take pride in what we do. And uh, I certainly appreciate um, taking time out, uh, especially on a Friday going into the weekend. Hope you learned a little about so Social Security. But if I talk to you, I will tell you what, we're trying to get you on a plan to, to go and see more people, write more business. Let's see if we can uh, get that accomplished. I'm looking forward to speaking with, with everyone who marked yes today. Perfect. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for taking some time out. I know your appointment book right now is solidly booked. You know what? Yes. I'm, not, I'm not kidding you, Steve. I'm, 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 I'm not kidding. So here it is. And Natalie just came on in. And I got a guy from, we had a, a seminar uh, on April 13th, First Baptist Church, and he's sitting out in the, in the, in the, just waiting for an appointment. I mean, that's, that's my appointment right after this. So it comes right from Social Security. That's kind of apropos. If you'd like to be kind of in that situation, have workshops like that, give, give me your phone number one last time. Would you see? It's 800 255 5055. Give us a call. We'll get you set up. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Bye-bye.